Hello everyone, welcome back to another AutoCAD practice exercise. Today we are going to work on exercise 60, which includes multiple ox, circular hole and fillet blending, all in one 2D sketch using AutoCAD. This drawing may look a bit complex, but don't worry, I will guide you step by step in the simplest as possible way especially for beginners you will also find the project file link in the description below you can download easily perfect for practice or assignment uses now step 1 draw the base circle let's begin with the three main circles the left one, the center one and the right one. As you see in this diagram, this one is our base circle. The first one, the second one and the third one. This one our base circle. So first we need to create this one, second this one and third this one. You can just follow me step by step. You can create this drawing very easily. Just activate circle command using C enter, click on a specific point and put a radius as a 9. Then one more click, just press enter, click on the same center point and put a radius 18, press enter. Just activate construction line using XL enter, V4 vertical, click on this point. Now again using construction line using XL enter h4 horizontal click on this center point now select this line just copy using co enter click on first point and put it downside as of 55 press enter just we create this distance now create one more distance this one co for copy command select this line press enter Click on first point and put it right side as a 45. Press enter. So we create this circle. Now next need to create this circle. Draw these two circle as a dia 28 and the inner dia it will be 14. So just activate circle using C enter. Click on these intersection point and put our diameter using D enter 14 press enter again activate circle command using just press enter and click on the same center point and using D for diameter 28 press enter now need to create the circle the third one distance it will be 60 and upper side it distance it will be 38 so just activate co for copy command select this line press enter and put it right side as a 60 press enter select this line using co for copy click on first point and put it upside as a distance 38 now select both circle using co for copy click on this point and put it here now delete all these lines just select this and this one e for erase now activate line command put it here and just like that without dimension now need to create these cutout so using l for line command click on this quadrant point just like that again same as this one using tr double intro trim this one and this one also this one and this one now step 2 add ox and radius blend so now we need to create these ox and these ox and also these ox okay so how can we create just follow me first this one is a radius 50 so you can use fillet command yeah you can use circle command first we are going to create this one 
as a circle command using C for circle, T, T, R for tangent, tangent, radius. Press enter. Select the circle to the circle and put a value as a radius 45. Press enter. Now TR double enter trim this one. So we created this one very clearly. Now create this one using L for line. Now here we are going to create using fillet command. So using F for fillet, R for radius and put a value as a radius A. Press enter. Now need to check using T for trim. Choose here as a no trim. So select this line to this circle. TR double enter trim this one. So first we create this curve and second we create this curve. Then last we need to create these curves, the yellow one. Okay. So before create this curve, we need to create this circle. So now again we need to activate circle command using C for circle click on any specific point and put a value as a radius 1 4 14 now using XL enter V for vertical and click it the center point now using O for offset and put a value as a 50 distance select this line and put it here now select this circle M for move and put it this coordinate point to this point. Now select both line using E for erase. Now need to create L for line and put it here and just like that. Use F for fillet R for radius and radius value will be 10. Press enter. Select this circle to this line. Now we need to create this inner circle as a radius 7. So using C for circle command, click on this circle center point and it will be 7. Press enter. Now TR enter T for cutting edge. Select these curves, press enter and trim this one. Now again using TR double enter trim this one and this one now step 3 place slot and guides cutouts we are going to create these slots very easy don't worry just activate construction line using xl enter v for vertical this one using o for offset put a value as offset 40 Press enter. Select this line to put it here. Again select this one. Now its value will be 35. Now again using XL enter H for horizontal and put it this circle center point. Now O for offset and put a value as a offset 45. Press enter. Select this line and put it upside. Now create this circle. Radius will be 10. So just activate circle using C enter. Click on these intersection point and put a value as a radius 10. Press enter. Now we need to create this circle. So need to activate XL enter H for horizontal and put it here. Now again using C for circle command and put it these midpoint and put a value as a radius 6 press enter now delete all the construction line this one just using for our your reference e for erase now need to create these curves your cutout will be completed so this radius it will be 22 and this circle radius will be 35 so just see using C for circle command T T R enter first this circle second this circle and put a value as a radius 35 press enter now second one 
using f for fillet r for radius and put our value as a radius 22 press enter select the circle to the circle now tr enter t for cutting edge select this circle to this circle press enter and click on this outer circle for your trim end. now again using tr enter t for cutting edge select these both arc press enter and click on this circle to this circle now your diagram almost complete now step 4 final touch and cleaning so just select all the diagram go to properties and add a line thickness as a 0 0.30 now use CEN for center mark press enter select the circle to the circle to the circle and the circle now select this one and go to properties and change our color it will be red choose ma for match select this one to this one and all the center mark now step 5 add dimension so just activate dra for dimension radius command and click on this one also this one take your time and put dimension very carefully use dra for dimension radius for this one also for this one now also need to put it this one 6 this one as a 10 and this one as a radius 50 this one as a radius 10 using dti for dimension dia command so put it this one as a 28 and also put this circle as a diameter 14 as same as this one okay dli for dimension align this one to this one put it here also this one to this one just like that also this one to this one put it here and also this one to this one using dco using s force this one to now if you can add so you can also add dli for dimension linear to this one to this one okay after all you add dimension your drawing looks very clear and very proper so once done now step 6 save and export once done save your drawing you are ready to export or print so download the project file from the description below to practice to your own if this video helped you please give a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more AutoCAD practice exercise like this. And if you want to support the channel, hit the join button and become a part of our community. Until next time, keep practicing, stay creative and I will see you in the next one. Tata, bye bye, take care.